Hello everyone, this is Aaron Fitz from ATF Gaming, and welcome back to NASCAR Dirt to Daytona. Today, we are going to go through the next races of the season, races 5 and 6. Uh, we moved up in the third place in the standings last episode. We made an arrow upgrade at the end of the episode. So let's see if that helps us nab this first win that we're looking for. Uh, Baxter, I believe, is a longer track, so we might not fare as well here. Uh, last episode, we finished second at, um, I don't remember where it was, but it was a, a much shorter track. So, I think that's going to be our strong suit. I don't think that, uh, these longer tracks are going to be too nice, too kind to us, but we're going to find out. But let's see how the new aero upgrade is. The next, next thing we need to get is that exhaust upgrade. That'll really help with our speed as well. And then we can get that suspension upgrade. Because I, I don't really have the need for more grip right now. I know that sounds weird. You always want more grip. But compared to our other needs of speed, we definitely should focus on getting uh, more speed out of it before we worry about grip. Well, let's see where we qualify. Oh, I thought we might be fifth for the third time in a row, but we're sixth. So we will start third in uh, the second heat. So let's get that underway. <coughs> Excuse me. Kind of snuck up on me. Didn't have enough time to mute the microphone there. But let's see if we can solidify a front row start here. As usual, we get our good launch, which again surprises me. I, I've never gotten good launches on restart ever in any NASCAR video game. So, that just surprises me every time. Oh, once we get up to speed, we do need to let off a little bit more than usual going into the corners. But as you can see, Ginter has a lot more speed off of the corners. But I don't think he's like he's so much faster than us. I think we're we're able to keep it with him. But like like you see right there, he's got a great drive off the corner. Uh, we got him loose there. He's gonna spin out. I also messed up, so I'm not gonna be able to reap the full benefits of this. But we're still in the lead by a, a second and a half now. Now we just there's only three laps to go in the heat. So let's just try to maintain this position here and start on the front row in the A main. That would really help out. Like I said, we're only like 27 points out of the uh, championship right now. So we, if we can get a win, we might be up there in first in the point standings, depending on where everybody else finishes, of course. But I think it's like a 20-point differential between first and second if you lead the most laps. So, even if whoever's in, I think it's Hunter that's in the championship spot right now. Flight flag is out. So even if we finish first and lead the most laps and Hunter finishes second, we'll still gain about 20 points, which is huge. But we're running away with this heat. Now, I do think... Oh, who was it that I wrecked? Whoever it was that I wrecked, I do think he was faster. But uh, he might not even make the A main now because I wrecked him. Sorry. Who was it? Was it Rafter? Or was it Ginter? It was Ginter. All right. But he... Uh, just before I clicked off, he got up to fifth. So he'll make the A main start 10th. Alright, so let's head off to the A main. We're starting second. Hopefully we can get a similar launch and start pulling out to an early lead over whoever's on the pole. Fazoli, of course it's Fazoli. He's the one who beat me last race. So let's try to get some revenge on Fazoli. We got a good launch. Let's see if we can maintain going into the corner.
I thought this might be a bad track for us, but we actually might be able to pull off some heroics here. Because he's not, he's not gaining on us too much in the straightaway. So I think that arrow upgrade is definitely our saving grace right now. Because at every other track, they were just passing us on the straightaways. But we're actually able to pull away here. So this is outstanding. We might be able to pull this off. Now usually about halfway through the race, there's some random guy who gets, gets a sudden burst of speed and starts coming up through the field. But... If we can pull off to enough of a lead, we won't have to worry about that. But yeah, like I said in the last episode, an exciting time for the channel. I'm about to do another live stream. I've my opinions on live streams have changed. I wasn't well, I wasn't too big on doing live streams because I didn't think a lot of people would show up. In my first couple live streams, nobody showed up. But that NASCAR Heat 2 live stream, obviously, I was I was uh, getting the game early, so obviously that helped out a lot. But the fact that I had over 250 people watching at one time was huge. I gotten at least 12,000 views on the two streams combined. So, all right. So it looks like Ginter has now suddenly gotten a burst of speed here. How many laps do we have to hold him off? I don't think we'll be able to hold him off since he is flying right now. Five laps to go. We're going to have to get into him, but he's just flying right now. So I don't think I'm even going to have a chance to try to wreck him. So that that's disappointing. And now we got Finger, who also has a sudden burst of speed. That's frustrating, where you're leading the whole race, and then these random guys come from the back with sudden, like, superpower-like speed and just take your win away from you. I sure hope we led the most laps there, but now Finger's going to get underneath me, which is even more frustrating. And he drove me up the track, so nothing I can really do about that now. Well, now we just got to maintain third. We are faster than Fazoli, I know that. But that corner really messed up our time. Three laps to go. We might get another chance at them with lap traffic, but I, I don't think, it, I don't think I'll, I'll have enough I can't even use words today. I don't think I'll have enough time to get back up there, unfortunately. Unless if something catastrophic happens during lap traffic. Two, to Two laps to go now. Yeah, lap traffic isn't helping us as much as I had hoped. But, white flag is out. Uh, now we got Fazoli, who's suddenly caught up to us. So I would appreciate if lap traffic uh, becomes a thorn in his side. Which it does, which is beneficial to us. But, unfortunately, after leading the majority of the race, we're going to finish third. I sure hope we led the most laps, though. Because that will really help our points, point standings. Oh, we tied for the most laps, of course. So Ginter does get those five bonus points as well. But because we got the ten bonus points total, we actually got more points than second place finger. So that's huge. I'll take that. But let's see where that puts us in the standings now. Alright, that's another good payday. We might be able to make that um, other upgrade we were talking about. Alright, so we're up to second in the standings. Ginter is now the one that we have to beat. And he is 23 points ahead right now, so... That's what we need to focus on. We've got a about a 14-point cushion on third place there. Do I have enough money? No, I do not. I need 4000 I believe, for the next upgrade. So what do we got in store now? Egan Speed Bowl. So let's get that out of the way here. 
Again, we're achieving our primary sponsor goal. I probably should have set a higher primary sponsor goal. I didn't think we would be running this well. Obviously, we started, we had a little bit of a rough start. Now, this is another big trap. Yeah, look at the 20 plus lap times. So, this is a bigger trap. But I, I thought we would be worse at the last track if we ended up finishing third and led the most laps. So, I'll take it. But this is the track that you don't want to go all the way down to the bottom for. You want to stay in this lighter gray dirt area. You don't want to go all the way down to the bottom. Well, this is a little unique compared to the other tracks, that's for sure. But let's see what kind of lap we can put down here. I've never been super fast here, but should be able to put down a decent lap. This is the one that counts. Oh, that wasn't the final lap. Well, we've already beaten my record time in this in my overall playing of this game. So, I think we might be in good good hands here. But I still don't think we're going to be outstanding. But let's see what we get. All right, that first lap was better, so we're going to go with that. All right, fifth again. Fifth again. All right, so heat one, starting third again. Hopefully this doesn't go too too long. I have a live stream I'm doing tonight that I scheduled already. So, I'm recording this on Monday. So, not tonight as of today you're watching this. But, as of time of recording. But, yeah, you see those two guys just flew past us. Fazoli and Finger. So remember, Ginter is the one we need to watch for in the standings. But hopefully I can get this in done in time. But you guys don't care about that, so let, let's try to get back on finger here. We've had we've slowly gained on him a little bit. Three laps to go, so this is a short heat, which is good since this is a longer track. We are making up time on finger. We should be able to pass him, but Fazoli is long gone. So we won't be starting on the pole, but we could start third if we can complete this pass. We cleared him, but he'll have a run. Oh, I didn't think he was that close. Last lap, uh, as long as we can stay ahead of finger. Oh, Fazoli is slowing down. What? What's going on? Oh, that's the lap car. That's a lap car. I got excited there, but that was a lap car. It psyched me out. So we'll start third. We will start third. All right, off to the A main. Let's see what kind of result we can we can get. Don't think we're gonna have the speed to win, but a good top five result will do us good. I do not see Ginter in the top five, so that's a good thing. Fazoli got a terrible start. 
We might be able to lead a lap that will help us in the point standings. Because we just get great, great starts. So I'm happy with that. I almost wish there were cautions so we could get restarts. Because we just launch off the corners. But we lead a lap, so that's goal number one achieved. I can't believe we're this much faster than everybody right now. I don't know what happened to um, whoever it was that won our heat. I don't remember who it is now. My short-term memory is terrible. I have a decent long-term memory, but I, my short-term memory is absolutely garbage. So he, here comes Bean. He's a guy we haven't messed with much this season. So he's not somebody we have to worry about with points. At least from my recollection. So he sh will most likely get around me here. I would assume. There he goes. Well, we, got, we make contact with him. So we might be able to pass him again. He's loose. He's wiggling. I probably should be a little more aggressive considering this is the win we're going for. But he's just flat out faster than me. And here comes Turret. Now, he's, he's somebody who's in the top five in points, I'm pretty sure. So I prefer not to let him go, but he's just so much faster than me right now. That's what happens about halfway through these races. Two or three guys just get in a sudden burst of super speed and go into turbo mode. And here, here we are, finishing third again, most likely. So it's just disappointing. Because we really need at least one win to put ourselves in championship contention. In my opinion, you have to have at least one win in a season if you're going to be a champion. Even in a short season like this. I, I don't like the consistency thing. Which is why I love the chase system in, in Cup right in, in all three series. I love the chase system. Because it puts such an emphasis on winning. And that's really the goal of running races is winning. That's the goal of competition really especially major league competition so put an extra emphasis on winning definitely is a plus in my book so now Peterson has gotten a sudden burst of speed and is catching up to me for some reason so how many laps do we have left two to, go. two to go so we should be able to stay ahead of Peterson doesn't look like lap traffic will play much of a factor here Bean just flew by, flew by whoever that is up ahead in turn one or turn three or whatever turn this is. White flag is out. Final time around this track. Peterson is flying. So we just got to make sure to run our line and make sure he doesn't pass. Because I really would like to finish third here. That lap car held two right up a little bit, but not enough for me to pounce. But we are going to finish third again. Our level of consistency is getting better. Instead of being consistently eighth, we are now consistently third. I mean, I'd rather be consistently winning, but it is what it is. We got some more bonus points for leading a lap. So we're definitely playing the points getting game here. Like I said, Bean wasn't up there in the standings. So I don't think we have to worry about him winning, but I know Turret was. That's a huge payday. But since I'm a little time constricted right now, we will do upgrades. And Are we in the points lead? We're in the points lead, guys. We didn't see Ginter at all in that race. So we are in the points lead. We have an 18-point po lead. So that's exciting, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to see more content from ATF Gaming, be sure to hit that red subscribe button. It really means a lot to me, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.